together in Living Hope. We're here to go through devotions today. And today's devotion is from 1 Kings 19, beginning in verse 19. It says here, So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Japhat, who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen in front of him. And he was with the 12th. Elijah, he was with the 12th. Elijah passed by him and cast his cloak upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? And he returned from following him and took the yoke of oxen and sacrificed them and boiled their flesh with the yokes of the oxen and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and went after Elijah and assisted him. What happens when life is not going to ever be the same again? When the call of God and the newness of God says, hey, I want to show you something. Hey, I want you to come with me to something that may give you a whole new life. However, your life's never going to be the same again. It may come as an invitation or it may even come in as a crisis. However it comes, life is never going to be the same again. For Elijah and Elisha, here's Elijah looking for a, a disciple that he can pass on all his teachings to. And Elisha, this young man, is going to take the mantle of the famous prophet Elijah and learn from him. And you would think that this is a time where it's exciting, I'm going to do something new. But if you really start to think about what's happening in the story you realize this is actually a critical moment in the life of Elisha, critical decision-making, and certainly a crisis in the family. Did you pay attention to the story? Think about the things that Elisha has to do. I'm going to summarize them in two words. He has to abandon, he has to practice abandonment, and he has to practice sacrifice. Abandonment, sacrifice. We see Elisha has to say goodbye to his family, never to see them again. He's on a new call that God has called him to. It's a tough call. Not going to see mom and dad. One kiss goodbye. To symbolize this dying of his old life and the letting go of the old life, what does he do? The thing that he had been trained to work with, the thing that he had worked with his whole life, a yoke over his oxen, the thing he used to work with the oxen, to pull the oxen, to push the oxen, the very thing that he worked with, he burned it, symbolizing that he's letting go of the things that are holding him back. And here's the unfortunate part. What about when the thing holding you back in your faith and your walk with God is the very life that you have built up for yourself up until now? He has to abandon that. He has to let it go. Walk away. It's hard. Life's never going to be the same again. Well, as if that wasn't enough, then there's sacrifice. He sacrifices these oxen. Now, these oxen were valuable. These oxen could have been financially very uh, helpful. Instead, he sacrifices it to the Lord. Says, Lord. It's to show that God means more to him than his money. Wow. That's as radical as it is to give financially in our tithing and offerings to the church. In a time of crisis. It's a sacrifice. It hurts us it's something that we could that we could hold on to it's something that we could benefit from but we're asked to let it go trust me with it and it feels you feel the sacrifice i once knew a police officer i greatly admire him he was a friend of mine discipled him i loved him i taught him he allowed me into his life, allowed me to teach him. I did Bible studies with him. 
I it was one of the greatest uh, thrills and privileges of my life to call him friend and to disciple him. And there are so many friends that I've had the opportunity to do small group with and Bible study with. And uh, I've had like nine friends that I have discipled that have all gone to seminary and graduated and become ministers. That is a huge thing I am proud of. Well, this friend was a police officer. And he uh, got accepted to seminary, got the letter, showed it off. It was incredible. And then came the day he had to go tell his brothers in arms at the police department, tell them he was going to resign as a police officer, had to turn in the badge, turn in his gun, because he's going to go and follow God. He had a big party, and he invited friends and family to celebrate with him. In the middle of this party, he had this big, giant, like, cylinder, metal, rusted metal thing. Okay? Nobody knew what it was or what was in it, but later on, you know, I thought it was for the barbecue because he was having a huge barbecue. We're all eating and um, draws our attention and he tells us, he shows us his uniform as a police officer, throws it in the can, and sets it on fire. This is my old life. And it's dying today. And I've called you here to celebrate because there's something new coming. Incredible faith. Incredible sacrifice. What is God calling us to abandon today? What is God calling us to sacrifice today so that we might show our trust in him, a real trust in him, a genuine, authentic trust in him? to follow him what things do we need to let go of what things can we abandon so that we might follow him today amen and amen pray with me lord jesus we pray god that you give us the wisdom and the clarity and the strength to hear your call to know your call even in the midst of crisis that you're calling us constantly over and over to abandon the old life and to follow you in a new way, to let go of the things that hold us back from you and to boldly and courageously go into the new life you call us to and to make the sacrifices necessary that are needed for us to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.